Hi everyone. In this video, we'll study about the serial port of Arduino. Now, as you know that a computer system is having the monitor uh, for the immediate output device or for printing something that is needed to be printed by our programming. But with the case of Arduino, which is just a microcontroller board, we don't have any such sophisticated output device like a display. So, the USB cable with which we connect the Arduino to the computer, we can use the same cable for communicating with PC. And the PC in time can act as an output device for us. Let's see how it is done. And this also explains how the program is downloaded onto the Arduino microcontroller. So, let's begin. Now, if you have your Arduino Uno in your hand right now, I would like you to take a close look to it at those two pins which are labeled here. So, pin number 0 along with being a digital input output 0, it is also a pin called Rx and pin number 1 is a pin called Tx. Rx is used to receive data into the microcontroller coming from PC or from any other device connected here and TX can be used to transmit data out of microcontroller to USB or to any other device. So pin 0 is used for reception and 1 is used for transmission. This is a serial asynchronous communication happening onto this microcontroller. And that is what we exactly use to print data onto computer as well as to receive data from computer. So while doing so, we will use the same USB connection that we have, but the two pins, these two pins will be used whenever you are using serial communication based project. So it is advised that you do not connect any hardware to these two pins, especially when you are going to use the serial port. Let's see how the serial port is utilized. As we have seen and we have checked it before also, the Arduino appears as some kind of COM port in your device manager. So if you check it in your Windows device manager, it appears and it appears with a port number. We use the same port number to download the program onto the Arduino board from PC. And this is how we perform or this is how we do the connection from PC to Arduino. Now along with program downloading, we can use this PC as output device for Arduino. Either you can use a terminal software like this which is very popular terminal by Bray or Arduino has a built-in terminal window where you can see the data received from the Arduino or you can also type data which needs to be transmitted to the Arduino. So we'll see this when we perform the practical of it. Now how do we use this library or how do we use this serial port? To use serial port in Arduino, we have a library called serial and serial has got a number of different functions which can be used to either write data onto the computer or read data from computer or any other serial device. So let's see how we can do this communication through the serial port of Arduino. Now as I told you, this is data transmission happening synchron asynchronously serially and that is why we need to fix on the speed of data transmission which is also called as bits per second or the unit is bits per second or baud rate. There are some supported baud rates and while doing this communication we need to make sure that Arduino uses the same baud rate as well as the PC also uses the same one. So for example, if I am sending data from Arduino with a bit rate of 9600 bits per second and if you receive it with 4800 bits per second, then it might create confusion. So on the PC side also, it should be 9600 if you are using 9600 on the transmitting side or on the Arduino side. Now let's look at the library of serial. So this is the serial library and these are all the available functions in serial library. So those are all the member functions of the serial library that we are going to use out of which the most important one that we will be using in the very beginning is called as serial.begin then we will use serial.print print ln then we will use if serial.available and then we will use serial.read 
the other functions are also used it's not the case that they are not used but most popularly we will be needing these specified serial functions and we'll see them one by one how to write down the program for it as well as how to execute it onto the Arduino board so let's begin if you want to write down a program onto the Arduino to send some hello world or some sample text to the computer then the program needs to be as simple as this so let's just see instead of doing it here I'll just do it in Arduino itself so whenever you want to initialize the serial communication the very first thing you should do in your setup is serial.begin and you should specify a baud rate inside it this initializes and turns on the serial port with the specified baud rate and then you are free to run any kind of program with serial port so the thing is serial.begin 9600 then I'll do what serial dot print hello world and then in loop what I'll do is I'll just do serial dot print test and we'll wait for two seconds after uploading this program the Arduino will send hello world to PC and then after every two seconds it will send text test to the PC now let's download and see for its output. <laughs> 